has declared to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heavens. This is indeed an honor to be given the opportunity to be a part of this evening memorial service honoring the life of a dear cousin. My cousin!
and because of her, because of that, many were attracted to her. Her kindness knew no borders. One would wonder where she found her gifts, her person. Mother Swayze has left an indelible mark, and today we give God thanks for a life well lived. Mother, you are gone. You will never be forgotten. May her soul rest in peace. Metron Swayze Alley, my glory to God. Good evening everyone. I'm here to read a tribute to Mama from her grandkids. Grandma, you may have passed on, but your memory will live on with us. Grandma, thank you for your tender care, your love, your delicious tears, your concern, your sacrifice, your prayers, and everything you did for us. Grandma, I know you are in a better place where there will be no more pain, no more pills, no more needless or tears. We will be forever grateful and thankful that you are our grandma, the best grandma in the whole wide world. Rest in peace, grandma. We will always love you and will never forget you. From Danita, Serena, and Samantha Sweeney. A noted tribute from the Hossein family. To say we are filling a huge gap in our life at the loss of a dear friend, a confidant, and a prayer warrior would be an understatement of how much she will be impact our lives over the past 30 odd years. Sister Avis, as she was found the call by our family, was also the person that stood in the gap by praying and interested in our family during some difficult times as well as in great memories of joy. She often ensured she made that one call just to see how we are doing. If she did not hear from us in a few weeks or so, we are truly saddened at her passing, but yet we are blessed by the great memories, love, encouragement, and above all, the spirit guidance she has installed in our lives. Sister Avis was the beloved cousin of Rod Salman, our father and grandfather. She and Rod cared deeply for each other, and she and her husband became an important part of the immediate family. She ended each conversation with, Cause God loves you, and so do I. She will live in our hearts forever. Rest in peace, dear Cause Cause. Dearly beloved sister and friend, 
I feel the pain and loss of another sheep. Even though we were not meeting at church services, because of your ill health, we were still in touch through house visits and the phone. How can I forget some of the encouraging words that you gave? You say Jesus loves us and he cares for us. And these words were said by her on the 24th of the 12th, 2006. Your last sermon that you preached prior to when you got sick, the theme was, Get rid of Penina out of the church. This was the last missionary service when she preached from 1 Samuel chapter 1. And that was in 2013, in the month of June. She sang, I found the answer down on my knees just before she began speaking. I found the answer down on my knees. The solution to my problem, Jesus gave Those memories will be kept. 
to love, cherish, and never forget. Eulogy for the late Mariella Avis Swayze, fondly called Sister Avis, Sister Swayze, Mama, Auntie, Aunt Avis. Sister Avis, as affectionately called, was born in the district of Evergreen, Manchester, on the 17th of September, 1940. The parents, Ezekiel and Elma Sanchez, both now deceased. Sister Avis received her early childhood education at the then Comfort Hall Elementary School. After leaving school, she engaged herself in many skills, of which cooking, baking, and housekeeping were her favorite. As an industrious, no-nonsense young woman who had the ambition of making an impact on her community and the lives of those who would come in contact with her, she would bake some delicious cakes for wedding in and around the community. She was oftentimes asked to cook for functions, not to mention the sumptuous meals she would prepare. Once you've tasted her cooking, you would always pray for more. It is said that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So I guess it's no wonder her beloved husband of 59 years, Brother Kenneth Swayze, fell in love with her. Mardella was specifically designed to be the one for him, and so they tied the knot on September 30, 1962. The union produced five children, four sons and one daughter. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Many daughters have done, have done virtuously, but this woman looketh well to the ways of her household. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Her action had caused them to praise her in the gates. Sister Avis loved the Lord and took her water baptism in the mid-sixties at this same church, with the youth sometimes from all walks of life, whether at church or abroad. Sister Avis was active in church until the 1st of July 2013, when she active in church until the 1st of July 2013 when she complained of ill health which caused her to seek medical help from her family doctor as also treatment and admission from the Mandeville Public Hospital. Over time her health deteriorated and she became more ill and was confined to bed and has to be cared for by family members under the supervision of her family doctor. On May 6, on May 17 of this year, it pleased the Lord, her master, to call her home to rest. And so she succumbed to her illness. Her passing has caused a void in her family and the many lives that she has touched. Sister Avis has left behind her loving, hus her loving husband, Brother Kenneth Swayze, of 59 great, wonderful years. They shared a happy marriage life up to the time of her passing. She has also left behind two daughters, Ansita and Charm, sons, Dennis, Paul, Garnet, Jeremiah, their wives, stepson, Astel, son-in-law, Errol, 22 grandchildren, 11 grandchildren, one sister, nieces, nephews, other relatives and friends, all serve her beloved and dedicated church family. Rest in peace, Sister Avis. <laughs> All that was said and done before 
pointed to our sister. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now we are still here and we still need to hear. She can't hear anymore. But you and I, we are here and we need to hear. We need to hear the word of God. And so at this time, without any further delay, I would like you to stand with me as I present to you God's servant, who is none other than Bishop Orange Banton. Please receive him and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Bishop, your turn. Can we sing one verse of the song? Amen. The chorus it says, Better days are coming by and by. Praise the name of the Lord. Better days are coming by and by. When we reach the Happiness 
to know that person can tell you exactly how it is. Without being rude, you know, uh, facetious. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so, Sister, or rather, Missionary David uh, Swayze, what that was that kind of a person. Amen. Amen. She loved the Lord and she, she would serve God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. When you don't see her in church, you know that something was wrong. Uh, she wasn't feeling well. And so tonight, we mourn her loss. But on the other hand, we are happy that she's gone home to be with Jesus. Amen. The scripture says, any man have this hope in him, purify himself, even as he is pure. I would like to turn your attention to the book of Revelation chapter 21. Amen. And verse 8, verse, verse, the first 8 verses says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself shall be with them and be their God. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new and he said unto me write for these words are true and faithful. And I said, uh, and he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. I will give unto him that is a third fruit in his season. Nevertheless, the ungodly are not so. But they are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Consequently, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment with the righteous. For God knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Can somebody praise the name of the Lord? We have come to the realization that heaven is a prepared place and it is for a set of prepared people. You can dance as you want, hallelujah. You can live as much as you want to. You can live as you like, amen, in this present world. But now therefore, beloved, hallelujah, that heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. If you are not prepared for heaven, you won't be going there. Praise the name of Jesus. We can put it all the way we want to. If you are not prepared for heaven, you won't be going there. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. The Bible says, that <clears throat> uh, God spoke to John and gave him revelations of things which was happening and things that were to come. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And he defined himself as the Alpha the first letter in the Greek alphabet. Amen? And the last letter in the Greek alphabet, the Omega. 
He says, I am Alpha and Omega. And if you didn't understand it, he says, I am the beginning and the ending. Hallelujah. Amen. He was the same God who spoke the world into existence. In Genesis chapter 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. So everything that God commanded came to pass. Talk to me somebody. John says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Amen. Mm. John says, Amen, that the Word became flesh, and it dwelt among us. And we beheld, Amen, the glory of the Father. Amen. We beheld His glory. Praise the name of Jesus. So there is an importance why Jesus came into this world. Amen. It is important that we understand that Jesus came to save sinners. If you're in this house tonight, you're not saved, but you're a sinner. You're at the right place. You're at the right place and at the right time where you can make your wrongs right. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. The scripture says, Today if you will hear His voice, harden not your hearts. I know that our folks are hardening their hearts right now, but I pray that the Spirit of God will move in the heart of heart. Hallelujah. And cause you to have a change of heart and a change of mind. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As it was in the beginning, as it was in the day of temptation, when your fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my works. God killed thousands of them in one day. And he's giving us the opportunity tonight, amen, to open up the faculty of our hearts open up the faculty of our minds and receive him. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the living God. The Bible speaks of two, pers two different categories of persons. The believers that will inherit eternal life. Amen. Those that will do according to God's will and according to God's way. But it speaks of another category of persons. It says about the fearful and the unbelieving. Hello, somebody. It is a serious thing to be fearful and don't believe God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the abominable. And the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars. Some people talk about it just like a white liar tool. All liars, the Bible says, will have their part in the lake of fire. In the lake that burneth with fire and with brimstone. I'm taking my time because I want you to get it clear and get it in the faculty of your minds. Amen. Don't turn away from the word of truth. Hallelujah. For when you resist the word of truth, you resist God. Amen. You resist the only mighty God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish. Come on somebody. But have everlasting life. 
For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. So the Savior came that you might be saved. Hallelujah to Jesus. Scripture in Matthew's Gospel chapter 1 verse 21 says, Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Those who don't want to be saved, those who don't want to acknowledge the Lord Jesus, you don't want to be saved. But those who acknowledge him, yes, yes, they want to be saved. And they will make every effort, amen, to please God Almighty. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. How many of you know how long you're going to live? How many of you know that you're going home back tonight and you're waking up back tomorrow morning? How many of you know that? How many of you know, amen, hallelujah, how many years more you have to live irrespective of your years tonight how many of you know how long you're going to live scripture says today if you will hear his voice harden not your hearts amen hallelujah your persons uh, they will tell you, I can't live without the beer, I can't live without this, I can't live without the spliff, I can't live without the job, I can't live without this. The devil is a liar and he want to control your mind and tell you that, oh yes, you got to take this. It will ease your sorrow. But the only thing that can ease your sorrow is when you accept Jesus. Somebody says, What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can change? What can cleanse and make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Some of you cry when Sister Davis died. Some of you are still crying. Do you hope to meet her? Do you hope to see her again? Well, if you hope to meet her, you've got to exemplify the life that Sister Amos lived. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the living God. You've got to exemplify her lifestyle. See God where he may be found. Your Lord and Savior. Don't let this word go through one ear to through another. Amen. But I want you to accept the word of God tonight. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. Can I tell you something? We were having a crusade up in Mandalore. And one lady came inside and she said, Well, she wouldn't even leave. She wanted to be baptized. She baptized, we went and baptized her. Others were baptized, they got the Holy Ghost and everything. Some people got the Holy Ghost right in the pool while we were baptizing them. And we encouraged her to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you know, she told my wife and others that I'm not coming back to the church. The pastor says, you need to receive the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. That's what the word of God says. Amen. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Amen. Read it when you go home and read it if you have your, you have your Bibles with you. And she walked away. The next thing I know, she didn't come back. She didn't communicate with us. The next thing I know, she ended up in the hospital. So they found that she had stage 4 cancer. Amen. She didn't even tell her sister that she was going to the hospital. I preached last Sunday and I said, those that speak against the church, God will deal with you. 
if you speak against the church God has a message for you glory to God you better you don't say anything but any time you speak derogatorily against the church hallelujah you speak against God himself glory to God and he will recompense you for the error that you have made. I preached Sunday and she died Monday. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the living God. Today if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Persons will be saved, they will come and they will go. Yes, they are saved, yes. Well, you're not coming back in certainly she was prophesying um, against herself she's not coming back she won't be coming back for she has already passed amen can I tell you something beloved we have learned to respect missionary Swayze as a good person in the community amen and all of you can testify about her. They even better than me. Praise the name of Jesus. Because, amen, she lives in this community. Hallelujah. But you need to make your calling and election sure. You need to make right with God. If you never made right with God, you need to make right with God. Before this day changes, you need to surrender your life to him. Hallelujah. He'll give you peace you never knew. Sweet love and joy and heavens too. Mighty God, any person in this community, any person in this church can tell you the difference that they felt. Amen. When they surrender their lives to Jesus. It's like a load was taken off your head. Mighty, mighty God. So John says that those abominable, those murderers, amen, murder cannot never be right. It can never be right. Some of the sins that folks commit on this earth, it can never be right. You need to change your behavior, change your attitude. Sometimes you don't commit the sin, but you, you agree with those who commit it. And so, you will have to give an account for those things that you, amen, that you support. Folks, hallelujah, the dead houses, mighty God, they can't hold them. They pack them in chocks. Some of the bodies they burn them. Right now we cannot even be certain of the number of persons who have died. But you are still here. Talk to me somebody. I said you are here. If it had not been for the mercies of God, you would have been destroyed like everybody else. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's time for you to pay. Amen. Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. For having mercy upon you. Amen. The psalm says, I pay my vows unto the Lord. It's time for you to make your calling an election show. What are you waiting for? Come on, somebody. What is it that you're waiting for? not too young to die. You're not too old to die. Amen. So make make your calling. Make your election sure. And when the trumpet of God sounds, you are ready waiting.
to go with him. I'd like to ask you a question tonight before I close. If Jesus should put in his appearance tonight, are you ready? Will you be going with him? Are you ready? Can you safely say that yes, Lord, I have obeyed your words, I have obeyed your voice, and I've been coming home. If you cannot say yes to that, I want you to bow your heads right where you are. I want to pray for you. Don't be ashamed, beloved. Hallelujah. Many persons that I see you tonight were in that condition. Amen. But then turn your hearts over to the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you bow your heads right now? In the name of Jesus. I speak victory, O oh God, over these lives. Lord, cause them to turn to you tonight. Lord, as I showed, hallelujah, in this spirit, mighty God, as you should put in your appearance tonight. Kashatu Messiah. The Lakosha Mighty God, that they will be going with you, Lord. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that I'll give it up to you. Make that surrender, make that change. Repenting of these sins, forgetting, oh Lord, those things which are behind them, and looking forth humbly unto you. Mighty God, honor these steps tonight. In the name of Jesus. God, turn their hearts around. Hallelujah. Let them cry out unto you, mighty God, until they can receive you. I pray tonight, Lord Jesus, that you strengthen their hearts. Hallelujah. Some are saying, oh, I can't. I can't serve God because I have some things to settle at home. You don't have to go home to settle it. You can settle it with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Move upon their hearts tonight. And bring a blessing unto them. In Jesus precious name. Let the church say amen. amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Can you praise the Lord everybody. Can we praise the Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. Come on, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah,
but I'm burning in you, Lord. I can't live without you. I need you, Jesus.
thank God for his mercies. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for bringing us this far. Lord Jesus, in the Lord, we worship you, hallelujah. We bless your name, mighty God, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for the family of them of their sins and cleanse them from all unrighteousness. Blood of their transgressions, oh God, hallelujah. And Lord, when time changes into eternity, Oh God, they will, hallelujah, by God, be ready to go with you. Have your own sweet way upon them tonight. Bless their families, oh God. Bless every member of the family tonight. Prosper them, oh God, in a special way. Lord, let this be an occasion for them to come together even closer than they were. Hallelujah. I pray, I pray God that you speak to them tonight. Speak to them collectively. Speak to them individually. Oh God, we worship you tonight. And we tell you thanks. Have your own sweet way. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 And keep you. Lord, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you.